Today is Wednesday, March 23rd, and it's the first of two media-only days at the New York International Auto Show. Car makers are taking the wraps off of a number of brand new rides, and our favorite so far is the 2017 Nissan GT-R, otherwise known as Godzilla. This year's redesign gives the Takumi-powered sports car a boost of 20 horsepower, bringing it up to 565 horses, and it gets an all-new titanium exhaust. Nissan's made the cabin more luxurious with Napa leather, a larger touchscreen, and active noise cancellation to make the ride quieter than before. Unfortunately, they've also added active sound enhancement, which plays fake engine noises through the sound system. I prefer a 69 Shelby Cobra with the windows down, but that's just me. The 2017 GTR will go on sale this summer. Just a quick update on the Apple vs. FBI saga from a report by Reuters this morning. The FBI is working with a company called Celebrite to unlock the iPhone 5C of one of the San Bernardino shooters. According to its website, Celebrite provides mobile forensic software and specializes in unlocking mobile data sources for investigations. While details of what they're actually doing are secret, it's widely speculated that Celebrite is using NAND mirroring to prevent the phone from counting the number of failed passcode attempts. The FBI needs to update the federal court by April 5th if it plans to reinstate the request to Apple to unlock the phone. Whether or not that happens should give us an idea of if Celebrite hacked the iPhone. Finally, two of our favorite topics, not sure which order to put them in, VR and porn. Today, Pornhub launched a free VR channel for users of mobile devices, Google Cardboard, Samsung Gear VR, and apparently the Oculus Rift. This is obviously not suitable for viewing at work, but hey, who's gonna know what you're really watching in those VR goggles anyway? Just keep the sound down. One of our testers tried this out and reports that it's, quote, kinda strange and a bit blurry. You know, it's not, it's not that blurry. The problem is, once these things become more popular, just wait until the creepy guy in the train that sits down next to you is wearing one of these. You're not gonna know what he's watching. That's it for DT Daily Today. Check in often for more updates from the New York Auto Show. Like us on Facebook, and we'll see you again tomorrow.